2021. That's right, you're listening to a very special What's New in 2, where we look back on everything that came to Airtable this year. It's a lot, so I'm gonna talk pretty fast. It all starts with a new way to build apps. If you're watching this, you've probably heard of Interface Designer. It's a beta feature we've recently introduced that helps teams build complete interactive applications in Airtable. By creating custom interfaces for your teammates, you can display the information that's critical to them and avoid all the distracting or unnecessary details. It's probably the biggest feature we released all year, so I should have saved it for the end. Next up, we released two new views this year. First was Gantt View, which is a great way to track a project's deliverables by start and end dates, along with their dependencies. And then there was Timeline View, which is a snazzy way to group records by field and display them in a neat horizontal line. But these new views wouldn't be complete without some enhancements to the view sidebar. So this year, we released Favoriting Views to make them easier to find, a collapsible sidebar, and View Sections, which act as a sort of folder for your all-important views. Then we added some serious horsepower to your automations, from email digests to integrating with best-in-class services like Google Workspace, Outlook and Hootsuite. We refreshed the automation interface, making it cleaner and easier to use. We added a new automation trigger, letting you start your automation at a scheduled time. And we created email previews in automations. And finally, we added the ability to use formulas and lookups in automations. We've added a slew of external sync integrations, including ones with Salesforce, Jira Server and Jira Data Center, Zendesk, GitHub Issues, Google Calendar, Google Drive, and Box. We super powered our mobile apps with views, a new calendar, record coloring, and more. We refreshed our admin panel, added new security controls and improved monitoring tools. Then we improved performance for large bases and added new base management settings. Whew, okay, I didn't quite finish, but I got pretty close. And if you thought 2021 had a lot, I am in trouble next year. See you then.